what's going on guys it is the coaster battleman here bringing you an awesome video the top 10 roller coasters at six flags green america my home park early 2017 edition and this park has been always one of my favorite amusement parks and before cedar point and king's island before i went to cedar point and king's island this was probably my favorite amusement park i have been to but now, since I went to Cedar Point and Kings Island, I haven't liked this park as much as those two parks, but I'm still a very big fan of this park. I really like what Six Flags has done with this park, adding new coasters every few years for the past few years since Dark Knight in 2008. Every two years, they add a new, added a new coaster, and then now new for 2017, they're adding Joker, so... Moving on to number 10, Batman the Ride. This coaster is more of a front row coaster to me. I don't really like this coaster in any other rows. That's what I that's what it's like for me for every single B&M invert which includes Banshee. Banshee's actually very good in the back row, but Batman the Ride has some fun inversions. It has a few vertical loops and corkscrews and it has a total of five inversions. The first drop is intense, the loops are intense, but overall Batman the Ride is just a pretty intense coaster and more of a front row coaster in my opinion. Number nine is the Joker, and this coaster is not a good coaster, but not a bad coaster. It's good it's a good addition for Great America though, because they do need a 4D coaster. And I'm happy they are adding this coaster for 2017. And overall, I'm very excited to ride it. I'm not too hyped to ride it, though, because all it is is just a minute of ride, and then you're done. But the Joker still looks like a very fun coaster. Not very fun, but still looks like a fun coaster. It's going to be pretty weird flipping around, because I've never experienced a 4D coaster before. And this coaster will give me an example of what a 4D coaster is like. It's just going to be free spinning. Number 8 is V2 Vertical Velocity. And this coaster is known for its launches. This coaster has multiple launches of the two spikes, the twisted and vertical spike. Wicked Twister at Cedar Point is a very similar coaster to this and the other intimate impulse I have ridden, and I personally like Wicked Twister better because it has two twisters and it never really has a line at all. While V2 tends to get long lines due to its low capacity and how much people really like this coaster, I think if Great America was to add another launch coaster, this coaster would get a smaller line. Number seven is Demon, and this is the arrow looper of the park. Demon, I'm a big fan of this coaster. It's a personal favorite of mine. It has some nice inversions, two vertical loops, and two corkscrews. The two corkscrews are just okay because they give away some, give you some head bashing or neck banging or head banging. But overall, this coaster has some cool tunnels throughout the ride as well. And this has just been always a solid coaster at Great America, in my opinion. Some people don't like this coaster because they say it's rough. Yeah, there are some rough moments on this coaster, but still, this is a pretty nice arrow looper and a true classic. Number six is Viper, and this is a Coney Island Cyclone clone. Coney Island Cyclone Clone. I've said that tons of times on my videos. And Viper has been always a fun coaster. It has some nice airtime moments. And I don't mind where I sit on this coaster. And I feel like if you're in the back, you will get more airtime. And overall, Viper's been a fairly popular ride at Great America. It delivers some nice airtime moments and has always been a very fun coaster. Number five is American Eagle, and this coaster delivers. It has an amazing drop. The first drop is a pretty fun drop. But then after that, the coaster goes through a few airtime hills that, doesn't, that don't give airtime. The airtime on this ride is 
not to be seen. But this coaster has a huge helix in the middle of the ride before going through some more airtime hills into a closing helix. But American Eagle has been a very fun ride in my opinion. It has a nice long ride time as well. And overall, it's one of the best wooden coasters at this park. Number four is X-Flight, and this coaster is the B&M wing coaster of the park, and it's one of the newer coasters at this park. Now, since Joker is being added for 2017, this coaster was built a few years back in 2012, the same year Wild Eagle opened, and this coaster delivers. It has a very fun wing over drop that gives a little bit of hang time. There's also some more inversions as well and near miss elements. This has been always a fun coaster and it's a very smooth ride as well. Definitely one of the smoothest coasters at this park. Number three is Superman Ultimate Flight and this coaster is very fun. I really like riding this coaster. I don't really care what row I ride in unless it's one of the middle rows. But Superman Ultimate Flight no matter what seat you're sitting in, you're always going to have a fun experience. The first drop is always fun. The pretzel loop is pretty intense and and is a very powerful element. But then after that, the rest of the ride meanders around the course with a bunch of bank turns, which feel like you're gliding around. And then you go to the zero G roll, then you're done. So yeah, Superman, very fun B&M flying coaster, but overall it could have the better layout. Number two is Raging Bull, and this coaster is a B&M Twister Hyper Coaster, and one of the two original B&M Hyper Coasters. This coaster has two airtime moments that are both floater air. This coaster also has a, a few helixes, bank turns, spread it throughout the ride and this coaster has a very fun drop as well and it goes right through a tunnel and overall Raging Bull has been a very fun B&M hyper coaster and one of the best coasters at this park and number one is Goliath this coaster delivers it has some amazing elements it has an amazing amazing dive loop and a Zero, zero G stall, I believe, and overall, Goliath has been a, a masterpiece at Great America and has always been one of the best coasters at this park. The drop is amazing, the bank turns are amazing, the airtime hills are amazing, the inversions are amazing. This is just a high quality coaster with a short ride time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.